Hey guys, how's it going? I am, uh, my name is Juliana Stevens. I'm the owner of the Evolution Store, if you're just tuning in for the first time. Uh, for those of you joining us, um, we do a uh, weekly uh, live mini episode. Um, we're trying to get up and running to do longer, more detailed episodes again. Uh, it's been kind of hectic because we've been um, moving and have a lot of stuff going on, but we are um, trying to uh, keep up a little bit of connection by doing um, shorter episodes uh, every week. And today uh, I am very, um, very excited uh, because Halloween is coming up. I have no idea what Halloween is going to look like this year, um, obviously with COVID and stuff, but um, it is my absolute favorite holiday. And so I wanted to maybe share a little bit about some of the creepier stuff that we have in the store, um, something that might be a little bit more Halloween themed. And one of the things um, in particular that I wanted to talk about is rats. So rats are a very... Um, cool spooky item that we have and they're also really fascinating. So I'm going to share with you a few rat items. Um, so hold on just a second. I'm going to turn the camera around. Here we go. So this is our collection of skeletons. We have um, lots of different animal skeletons available. Um, that big one is a dog, cat, and right here in the front is the rat. Um, you can see the anatomy uh, of the skeleton, which is really fascinating. So it's placed in this kind of crouching position. You can see their long, long feet, which I think is really interesting. Their paws, the way that they extend like that, makes them really good runners, obviously. Really good scamper, scamping around. Um, you know, those really very cool chompers. And um, we also have taxidermy rats. We have some freeze-dried rats over here. These guys are super chunky. Look at how big they are. They are, we get um, extra large rats um, because why not? And they are just absolutely so adorable. But the main item I wanted to talk to you about today is our diaphanized rats because that what is cooler and creepier than a rat and it's been diaphanized. So let me go around the back and pull it out so that we can discuss it a little bit more. So this is a diaphanized rat. Now diaphanization is a chemical process some of you may be familiar with, some of you may not. So I'll go over that in a little bit of detail. Um, so you can see the entire skeletal structure of the creature that has been diaphanized. And the reason that you can do that is because the skin has been made completely translucent. So look at that. The skin is still on the creature. It's not just a skeleton. The skin, the flesh is still there. It's just been made transparent. And the way that that has happened is they have, um, they soak the uh, specimen in a special enzyme that eats away at all of the protein in the flesh and makes it transparent. It eats away at the color, basically. And then they soak the rest, what's left, in a different set of chemicals that um, some dyes that are attracted specifically to calcium. And so they only stick to the bones. Um, so that's why these like have this amazing like magenta, purplish, pinkish color. So sometimes you'll see them in black, in um, blue and red. And so the um, the red is attracted to bone specifically, and the blue is attracted to cartilage. So when they kind of mix together, that's when you get almost this like purpley, crimson. Uh, magenta type of color which I think is really nice and um, it's very cool so I wanted to talk a little bit about diaphanization and so diaphanization is a chemical process that was actually invented fairly recently in the 70s so people weren't doing that before um, they developed it as a, a form of um, you know education and observation so they could see inside the animal right? It's kind of like, kind of looks like an x-ray. And in fact, they stopped doing diaphanization as much 
when um, imaging technology became more widely available because then you could compare different animals, you know, bone structures and stuff um, without needing to do this. But it's really a, a, an amazing art form. It has to be done so carefully. It's very labor intensive, takes a really long time to prepare each specimen, but it's worth it. I mean, look at those toes. You can see each individual bone in the foot, in the leg, those tiny little toes, those tiny little hands. It's absolutely fascinating. I think the, the way that this specimen has been preserved is really cool. And um, yeah, so diaphanization is the thing I wanted to talk about today and rats. And uh, I hope that you've enjoyed learning a little bit about this. We're gonna be having free shipping on diaphanized rat specimens um, on our website for the next week. So check that out if you are so inclined. And I look forward to showing you some other cool creepy things as we get closer and closer to Halloween. Can't wait. All right, see you guys soon, bye-bye.